so this is the given question and this code will be run by process p and this run, uh, piece of code will be executed by process q okay so uh, as it is mentioned in the question that output should be 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 and so on so we can see here that if process q executes first then it will print 1 1 but our output starts with 0 0 okay so we have to make sure that uh, the process q should not be executed before process p1 or p this is the first condition and the second condition is that uh, here there is a an alternative sequence of 0 0 and 1 1 it means that we should start our execution with process p after that uh, process q can be executed then p can be executed okay so it should be alternate fashion okay so we will eliminate the options which are wrong options okay so this is the first option which is that uh, we should uh, put this down operation on variable t on w up operation on t on x down operation on s here down operation uh, up operation on s here and the value of initial value of sigma for variables s and t is 1 okay so but suppose if i put down operation on y okay and the current value of s is 1 it means that process q can uh, you know performs the down operation successfully on a variable s it means that process can uh, process q can execute its code first and qq11 uh, will be printed but as per the given condition we have to make sure that process q should not execute its code before the execution of p hence a is not the answer in option b also there is a down operation on uh, variable s and that is on y and the current value of s is 1 it means process q can execute the down operation successfully on variable s it means q can execute uh, the code uh, before the execution of process p hence it can print uh, print 1 1 means p is not also an answer okay now we come to option 3 there is a down operation on sigma 4 variable s and the current value of sigma 4 vari variable is 1 it means process q again can perform a successful down operation and can print 1 1 but we need 0 0 ok so these three are not correct options hence this is the correct option but we will run the code ok so option d says that on w we have to write down operation on t on uh, x ok up operation on s and a down operation on s and z up operation on variable t and the current value of t equals to 1 this is the initial value of sigma 4 variables ok so we can see here that the initial value of sigma 4 variable s is 0 means process q cannot perform down operation on variable s if q performs down operation on sigma 4 variable s then the process q will be blocked because the value of sigma 4 variable is 0 ok it will be a successful uh, down operation when the binary sigma 4 value is 1 ok so in this case q cannot be executed before the execution of p ok now we see here that p is doing a down operation on variable t and the current value of variable t is 1 it means p can perform a successful down operation on sigma 4 variable t ok so 
when it performs down operation it will become from uh, 0 from 1 ok and 0 0 will be printed ok after that it's making a uh, semaphore variable as to 1 it means that this is the, the current value of uh, uh, semaphore variable TNS it means process P cannot execute next down operation because the value of T is 0 ok so it cannot print 0 0 after first pair of 0 but now process Q can execute down operation on S because the value of S is 1 so it will print 1 1 and it will make 0 because we are doing a down operation here here we are doing a, an up operation on uh, semaphore variable t means it will become 1 and after that process p can execute its code and can print 0 0 ok so that's how we will get this sequence this is the solution of this question please uh, comment your doubts in comment box thanks